The Battle of the Ebro, in the spring of 217 BC, was the first naval battle in the Second Punic War. Located in Spain, Roman Nias Cornelius Scipio Calvus faced Carthaginian Admiral Hamilcar and Hannibal's younger brother, Hasdrubal Barca. While naval battles may seem unusual for Romans, they could be capable under the right conditions. How did they win? What were the events leading up to it? What was the aftermath? Find out today on Roman History. In the Roman historian Livy's account, he referred to Nea Scipio's tactics of diplomacy and warfare to get more Iberian tribes to join Rome. A Carthaginian commander, Hanno, lost to Nias near Chissa with more than 8,000 casualties, 6,000 dead and at least 2,000 captured. Hasdrubal had 9,000 troops, 8,000 infantry and 1,000 cavalry. When he found out, he killed the Roman naval forces near Taraco. As a result, Nias went to punish the officers for their unnecessary loss and left with his fleet from Taraco to Emporium to deal with the Ilergeet tribe for rebellion. He dealt with them and earned more tribute and hostages. In the Greek historian Polybius' version, Rome prepared for a more warlike inclination against Carthage by putting legions in Sicily, Sardinia, and Tarentum. Also, they made sixty quinquiremes as a response to the seventy Carthaginian ships' fleet. Nia Servilius led the fleet to deal with them but did not want to stretch too far, so he went to Sicily as a springboard to attack North Africa. He arrived at Lilibium and headed to Sassina Island. When he came, they gave him tribute, which prevented any destruction. After receiving it, he returned to the Italian mainland to face Hannibal. At the same time, Nia Scipio went to Emporium and stayed on the northern side of the Ebro. Through diplomacy and sieges, he won various Iberian tribes to side with Rome. Procarthaginian Iberian general Andabales sided with Hasdrubal, which controlled central Iberia. Like Livy, Hanno lost the battle against Nias and referred to the same army composition as Hasdrubal's force, 8,000 infantry and 1,000 cavalries. After the loss, they retreated to New Carthage, modern-day Cartagena, for winter quarters. The Romans settled in Taraco. Two Massilian ships scouted the Carthaginian position. Carthaginian Admiral Hamilcar, Polybius' version, or Himilico, Livy's version, led forty warships, and Hasdrubal led the land force. According to Polybius, Nias knew what Hasdrubal's plan was, but take it with a grain of salt because Scipio Emilianus funded Polybius to have a proscipio narrative. As a response, he sent thirty-five ships with well-trained soldiers. It was the battle between the number of warships and the quality of soldiers. Initially, the Carthaginians were winning due to having a larger navy, but the Romans fought the naval battle as a land battle due to their superior soldiers. As a result, the Carthaginians lost six ships and retreated back to Hasdrubal's position. However, the Roman fleet caught up with them and towed twenty-five of them, and the Carthaginians retreated back to their side of the Ebro. According to Livy, during their retreat, they sacked the city of Onusa. The Romans unsuccessfully attacked Ibsus and received envoys from the Balearic Islands for peace before heading back north. The Ilergetes rebelled again, which prompted Hasdrubal to aid them. However, he suffered 19,000 casualties, 15,000 dead and 4,000 captured. After that event, the Romans headed to Saguntum as a means of lenient diplomacy, which favored the Sagantines over the Carthaginians' harsh treatment. Rome had psychological relief from winning a battle against the Carthaginians after losing at Ticinus and Trebia. Spain became part of the larger Roman strategy, and they conducted raids and gained more tribal allies. Nias' brother, Publius Cornelius Scipio, would aid him with at least twenty ships, eight thousand troops, and supplies and money for the campaign. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.